Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Uh, thank you so much, uh, our moderator. And let me recognize uh, uh, the, the leader of opposition and our honorable colleagues, apart from those of us who are here, who have joined us uh, uh, during this press briefing. Yes, indeed, we usually call for press briefings on Fridays, but uh, it was realized that some of these issues might uh, cannot wait for Friday. They needed uh, prompt reaction. Uh, from us who are people's representatives and so we can only appreciate you madam moderator for making this uh, process a uh, successful one uh, mine is to just supplement what my colleague talked about the cost of living but before i do i just want to echo uh, the views of one owner boca who was spoken about the appointment of the auditor general the role of parliament in scrutinizing appointments that are subject uh, to parliamentary ratification is not to rubber stamp it's not a mere exercise of rubber stamping those appointments in scrutinizing appointments parliament ensures that those appointments are legitimate constitutional and befitting so we wouldn't want the appointing authority to wait until parliament re reacts to that appointment but they can make a remedy and i'm urging the president to take a riff of what one one, one president michael Chirifasata, did apart from those appointments that my colleague has talked about here between 2011 and 2014 president michael satame so rest in peace appointed one eminent citizen one female eminent citizen leonard experienced at the bench and shared all the necessary qualifications to the position of Chief Justice. This is Madam Lombechive Sakunda, who served for a long time as Deputy and Acting Chief Justice. Her appointment could not succeed on account of age. Here at Parliament, that appointment came to Parliament and it could not be ratified and processed by parliament on account of age and this is a scenario which we are dealing with now the nominee who has been appointed to serve as auditor general does not qualify under the constitution on account of age so what we are asking for is not anything unusual. It's something that has happened. And so we are just requesting the president to remedy the situation by making a suitable uh, appointment. Yes, we have heard him complain about uh, processes of government. Those processes are there for a purpose. The laws that we have are there for a purpose. People go get jailed for breaching the law. If indeed people were, <laughs> were caught breaching the law and save the sentences, why should then the appointing authority think that they, they can make appointments outside the law? It doesn't work that way. So that's it. We have had an example. 
Madam Lombe Chinesa Kunda judge of many years and who served as acting chief justice was to be appointed as the chief justice substantively. But it couldn't be ratified here on account of age. And this is what we are saying to this nominee who has been appointed to serve as Auditor General. So it's not a question of debate. It's just that the appointment is illegitimate. Now, colleagues, we heard the President talk about improving people's livelihoods. Now, when you talk about people's livelihoods, for the ordinary Zambian, livelihood simply just means people are able to eat either two meals or three meals a day. Wadi, uruto shirwa wadi. A life, a livelihood. People are able to go to the clinic, get chloroquine for malaria, or any essential medical medicines that are required to keep people fit. But what is happening now is a challenge for many Zambians. And like you saw, some of our honorable members who demonstrated even in parliament that those things which were said not to be going to be allowed like Pamela, you know, those little uh, sachets of mini me. And we heard that someone uh, brought a, an issue from the Copper Belt where people are buying mini me on Lebai. Lebai. Washita Kabunga, Walipilako, Ero Asendamo, Quantity Ringene Neo Lipilako, Ero Isa Senda Kabunga Palast. That's what he live would worth talking about our people have been reduced to beggars and i'm happy that the president went to see for himself and the vice president went to see for herself for the vice president it was even interesting because there was a poor woman with a baby on the chest just crying for for for, for porridge for the child but you saw how that poor woman was uh, uh, pushed by the, the, the security detail so that the vice president couldn't sell. So if nothing is done, if nothing is done and done immediately, we are quoting a time bomb. Because lack of food security is lack of national security. Because an angry stomach is an angry mind. Goes with an angry mind. So, when people speak and the reactions they are getting is that, no, uh, it's not government's role to go and uh, uh, to, 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 to go maze for people. Yes, indeed. But they should know. One of the vice presidents has advised us to eat Rora meal. Not even Rora meal is affordable. But we cannot deal with this, the, with the, the, the rooming hunger situation, if the Minister of Agriculture does not do the right thing. Our farmers who grow food that we eat, our villagers who we represent, have not been getting farming inputs. The farming inputs they got last year were shared in medas. Therefore, there is no maze. Right now, f food reserve agency is running around with trunks of money looking for maze, which maze is not there. The maze they inherited in all the storage sheds has been sold, has been exported. Subsidized maze, exported to Congo, and people are bragging. We can't cross the borders. But who, which, what kind of parent would want to starve his or her own children and feed the next family? Is there sense in that? So every family would want to feed it, the, 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 their own children first before you think of the next door. So what has happened is that our colleagues in government wanted to make money at the expense of their own citizens. It has come to want them. Because all the maize that they found has been sold before they know what it takes to produce that kind of maize. Now, with the rooming prices of fuel going up, this coming weekend, this coming weekend, our people should know that the prices of fuel 
products is likely going to go up by 25 percent even more and that will trigger the prices of everything including minimum and all the 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 the, 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 the basic requirements that form the food basket will go up how many including you the people from the media are going to be affording life you only get increments i don't know whether it's once in a year but these prices are increasing every month so how, how are you expected to cope <coughs> so in sala ishile ishile won't say and we don't see government providing solutions apart from lamentations for fewer we told them there's no way we can convert Tazama pipeline to be carrying finished products. How many oil marketing companies are able to use Tazama pipeline? So if someone is transporting diesel by through pipeline and someone is transported transporting by lorry by trucks, is the cost of movement the same? The answer is no. So they've gotten it all wrong. And there'll be no remit because these oil MCs are now struggling, are fighting. Because it's expensive for those that are bringing finished products using the road than those who are getting the, the products, the diesel, because it's on diesel. The selected few. The selected few that are benefiting from the Tazama pipeline transported diesel. Others are transported by road. So how do you balance? How do you strike a balance? Yes, we have heard that one, 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 one contract has been cancelled uh, for, for a friend to the government. One, 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 one agro, agro something. But it doesn't help because the solution should have been to recapitalize in them and continue pumping, pumping crude. Then you can cushion the nation in the event that there are price shocks on the oil market as it's going to be going in the future we are going. So each pante pante variety and we yalai pa avantu. And you know, I told you that there is no food security, and then you go to the hospital where there are no medical supplies. Some of the medicines, even when they are prescribing to you, have you eaten before we give you medicine? So nga we learn in Sarakutara, the tuna no mut. So kufwa. A government to quit. We take over some who doesn't care about people. They are busy talking about the successes in the GDP. People don't want that. We heard about graphs. Yes, people do deal with the graphs where you're sitting in the cabinet. But people need to eat. People need to go to hospitals and find just basic essential drugs. So we are waiting to see how our farmers who are supposed to feed the nation are going to be supported because most of them have been wind off the fiscal program without being prepared so meaning those farmers won't be able to grow food for themselves and the surplus to sell so hunger is not only going to be limited to the urban areas but also extended to the villages that's where we are and there's no country that can survive without subsidizing the farming sector never now they are today they tell you we are changing FISIP. we are going to be gas it's the pant of the west kind and if you, people are being fired they're being fired for lack of uh, for, for for being incompetent then the president hasn't even started because most of the people that have failed zambians are still in the jobs if he did means firing people that are incompetent, he hasn't even started. Because the critical sectors that are drowning, that are affecting the people of Zambia, energy, agriculture, health, <laughs> they need serious changes. I thank you. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.